I what's good y'all it's your girl number medusa thank you for all the support on my I new did. single money i really appreciate it if y'all in vegas make sure y'all check me out live baddest bitch baddie bitch now i'm rich everything my niche all black hey everyone marissa romero coming at you from the virgin hotels i am sitting next to the beautiful young medusa and we are going to be talking about her rapping career so medusa Hello. Please tell us how long you've been rapping for. Um, I've honestly been rapping my entire life. Um, ever since I was a kid, riding my bike down the street, I would make up a song about anything. Um, I didn't really start taking it seriously until about 2016, though. So, yeah. My whole life, I want to say. And at what point was it that you believed in yourself enough to make it as a rapper? At what point did you realize, like, hey, I'm good at this and I can make this a career? Um, when I had my first heartbreak and I started writing just every song about how I was feeling, because it's something I never really experienced before, and it hurt me so deeply, and it was like a type of hurt that I never experienced before, um, and I didn't know what to do with that energy, and I put it all into music, and I was like, how am I this good at, you know, at writing all these songs, and I'm just busting them out, like, you know, three songs a day, and so that's when I was like, yeah, I could, I could really do this. That's amazing. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it wasn't amazing if my heart broke. <laughs> but they say, like, artists create create painful artists create beautiful art and so what made you choose the name young medusa um so honestly okay so i was on this live streaming app um and i just wanted a cool name i just wanted something edgy and like hood and i just my locks are very much a part of me um and i randomly just picked the name um, young Medusa and I've always known about Greek mythology and the history of Medusa in that way about how she was evil and she was scary and she was horrible and she did all these bad things to men um, but I never really knew the the African side of it because I'm not Greek I'm African, I'm African. so um, in African mythology Medusa was actually a queen like just a regular little black girl with dreadlocks, freeform dreadlocks, and she was very spiritual, she would, you know, heal people, she would pray, she would, you know, use herbs and things like that to, you know, just help people, um, you know, her, her subjects, I guess. And she was actually gifted to Greece to help Athena in her kingdom because Athena wasn't, you know, doing that great. And so when uh, Medusa went over there, um, Athena basically was jealous of Medusa because Medusa was doing her thing, she was powerful, she was beautiful. When men would see her, they would stop and stare, turn into stone. Um, and Athena just didn't like that. So she sticked her men on onto Medusa, they cut her head off and buried it so that no one would know how beautiful and powerful she was. And then Athena kind of started the rumor that Medusa was evil, and she had snakes for hair, and she was this and that, and um, it kind of would just... A lot of, I think a lot of history, especially black history, has been whitewashed and has been demonized. And it was kind of just a way for me to kind of take that back and kind of, you know, teach people, um, hey, this is what it is. That's beautiful. I really respect like that reclamation of, of black history and your culture. I think that's really powerful. Yeah, I think it's really important too to kind of um, just unlearn and relearn everything that we've been told because. Um, a lot of it's lies. <laughs> Are you from Vegas? Uh, no, I'm actually from Ohio. So uh, I was born in New York and then moved to Cleveland. And then I moved back to New York. So I graduated high school in New York, um, the Bronx. And then I moved back to Cleveland. But I just hated it. Um, There's nothing there for me. Um, everyone hated me in Cleveland. Like when I lived in New York, everyone loved me because I was super artistic and I was my own person. But in Cleveland, it was like kind of the exact opposite. Um, and so I just didn't want to do it anymore. Like I didn't like the job I was working. It was a good paying job, but it just wasn't, it's not who I am. And I wanted to be free and I wanted to make my own story, live my own life and do what I wanted to do. Whether it was good or bad, whether I win or fail, it's my choice. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I packed my car, anything that could fit, anything that didn't fit stayed, and I dipped out, I drove here, it took me four days, and I got here two days before the pandemic started. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, I'm still hurt, but like, 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a whirlwind, but I've been going with the flow, and I'm really happy I did because it's I'm following my dreams, and that's what else is there to do in life? You know, like if you're not following your dreams, you're just you're living to die, basically. A lot of artists have suffered from the pandemic, obviously. So I'm curious, what has helped you come back from that? Honestly, this, um, my art, my music, um, I honestly truly suffer with depression a lot. I, I be going through it. I uh, don't want to be here a lot of the time, but um, my art, my craft, and what I have inside of me, uh, it needs to come out. And I need to be here to let it out. I'm the only one that can do it. So, I, I have to. Like, my art is the only thing keeping me alive. Right. Hello and welcome. And that's real. To like that's real. I'm about to tear up. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your girl, I'm Medusa. Thank you for all the support on my new single, Money. I really appreciate it. If y'all in Vegas, make sure y'all check me out live. Baddest bitch. Baddie bitch. Now I'm rich. Everything my niche. All black.